what the sound, uh, Angelo? We <laughs> for your background, man. <laughs> very <All right>. aggressive. <laughs> I'm expecting a very aggressive presentation. <laughs> right. So it's your turn, man. You can pull All up right. your slides. Oh, I'll, I'll start with an introduction here first. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Enzo. I appreciate this opportunity. It's an honor to present to you guys. Again, my name is Angelo Directo. Uh, as you can see, I'm not Italian, uh, but I am Texan. And I'm presenting to you from the SHR office in Houston, Texas. Uh, uh, we have an office in Barcelona as well, as well as in uh, Singapore. So uh, we've been at this business for about 20 years now. And um, I'm very proud to, to present to you today. Uh, first thing I want to mention is, uh, is, is our mission statement of our company. And I think that's that's an important thing to understand about SHR. Our mission is to simplify the complex world of, of hoteliers with innovation and superior service. The service aspect is, is, is a serious part of our culture. If you're our client, as you can see from my t-shirt, you're not a number. Uh, we treat you with respect, we listen to your needs, and we do everything we can to solve your problems. And, and that's, that's also part of what, what I'm going to present to you today. Um, over the past year, we've been uh, listening to our clients. Uh, they've been going through a hard time. And they're taking on new roles and responsibilities that they didn't have to do to take on before. So, so for example, uh, our clients uh, who are managing distribution are now expected to do marketing. On top of that, they're going to pile on some revenue management. So our clients have to juggle these things together, like I'll try to do now. So every day they'll be doing all these things, hoping not to drop a ball, but, but, but if a ball drops, uh, something breaks, there's opportunity cost that rises, uh, a demand that wasn't met, a campaign that wasn't sent out, something forgotten. So our clients are, are, are talking to us. Let's see here. That's a nice one, huh? <laughs> I love this speech moment. Uh, right? Every time I see something <laughs> really creative coming up, you know? <laughs> right, okay. so I'm sharing your slides now. Great, thank you. So, so our clients are asking for help. Uh, currently, we, we provide three main products. Our CRS, uh, Windsurfer CRS, our Maverick CRM, and our Wave RMS. And these are kind of critical core parts of the hotel tech stack. We also have a, a, an application called the Rate Shopper. It's kind of important for this discussion. But we looked at what we had, and we kind of thought through, well, what data does each application represent? And we looked through that you know, each application provides key data sources for the hotelier. Not only that, there are, there are parameters there that hoteliers have to look at uh, to kind of make decisions on a day-to-day -day basis. And we thought it would be great if we could connect these together for our hotels. And let's make it easy for them to do so, so our, our hoteliers can do more, right? So that's what we did. We created APIs to expose these data sources from each of our, uh, our, our, our products. We created a, a data platform to collect data, to analyze it, filter it for future use. We created a, a way to create mappings to these APIs in a way that's very easy, that requires no code. We also created another interface to create workflows so that our hoteliers could, could use the data to make things happen, to make things easier for them. And with the same system, we thought it was easy to connect to third party applications and APIs as well. And so we did that also. So as you can see from, 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 this, uh, from, from this view, we, we, have, we have a full collection of things at the ho hotelier's disposal. So then we call this platform bridge. Uh, Bridge is an automation platform that interconnects applications and data so that it can automate processes. So it's a, it's a platform. It requires these interconnections with other applications and APIs, and it automates things, processes, using something called workflows. So, so what is a workflow? So I want to go into the structure of a workflow. For us, we've created a workflow that has a, a, this structure. Uh, if this, then that. If this condition exists, then perform this action and let me know about it, right? So send an email or a text message. Uh, there was an aspect of the action that we wanted to, to automate. So we created this thing called autopilot. So actions that don't require human intervention will just happen automatically with autopilot turned on. 
Now, there are cases when you don't want things to happen automatically. So you want to turn autopilot off, in which case you would receive an email when the conditions exist, yet you'll be given date, a link to an action panel where you can see data and decide if you want to take that action. And finally, we created a thing called a scheduler. So workflows can happen automatically at the same time during the day, every day during the week, or a certain days of a month for a period of time during the year. So, so the scheduler is an important aspect of automating these workflows. So I just want to show you how easy it is to create a workflow using Bridge. And in this case, I'll be using what's called a workflow template. And the workflow I want to demonstrate is, is this one. Uh, we call it drop-in production triggers a campaign. Specifically, if there is a large drop in production between last week and the week prior, then I want to send a promotional email campaign, but I want to see the data first before I execute that campaign. And so in this case, autopilot's turned off. I don't receive an email before I take that action. And let's have this workflow happen every Wednesday at 1230, for example. So here we are in Bridge. This is the actual interface in Bridge as it is today. It's one of our early versions. But you can see these are the templates that could be available to hoteliers. And we'll, we'll pick the first one, production drop triggers an email campaign. We click on that. We want to see what entails this, this template. What is, the act, what is the condition? What is the action? Say, OK, I want to create a workflow that does that. So say, create my workflow. Now we go to the uh, edit workflow screen. And then you can then fill in more information about the workflow just two fields to fill in, um, press, press save, and then the workflow is active. If the condition exists, if there is a drop in production, you then receive an email, and it looks like this. The email has a link to the action panel. Click on the action panel, and here is the action panel here showing you that drop in production. In this case, it's a 38% difference, a drop in production from last week to the week prior. So yeah, I want to send an email campaign right away, so I click on Check, check the box, update selected. The email campaign goes out, and here's what it looks like. So that's a simple workflow, allows a hotelier to react quickly to conditions. The conditions were from our CRS, and the action was taken in our CRM, connected those two applications together using Bridge. Um, workflows are OK as templates, but more often than not, a hotelier will want to like uh, um, you know, edit or customize that workflow for themselves. I just want to show you briefly this, this thing we have is a, a workflow studio, where you as a hotelier can customize your workflow for yourself with no code needed. So here's, here's a list of workflows in Bridge. I click on one to edit it. Then I end up in the workflow studio itself. Similar to the template, but there are more parameters here. I can choose applications, mappers, I can input uh, specific values for parameters. I can then add more conditions. Uh, I can also edit the action, change applications, change mappers. I can also customize the email, the email message notification or, or a text message. And I can test the workflow to make sure it's working. And that's it. So, so that's the workflow studio. We're trying to empower the hotelier to create their own workflows using Bridge. Now, one more thing I want to show you. It's kind of like a deeper under the hood in the engine of Bridge. It's called a mapper. And a mapper is usually something that, that we would use to create API connections to other applications. But I, I think it's worthwhile to show that this isn't too far, you know, far-fetched for a hotelier to take on themselves. Like, uh, uh, so far, we have 67 mappings for 20 APIs, and we continue to make more each day. So here's the mapper interface. For example, there's a mapper to, to Ticketmaster. We can check for events. And here's the kind of fields you have to fill in. Um, you have to know the API, read the documentation. But it is a big form, and you just save it. And that's the mapper. So mappers connect to APIs, and the mappers are used to then generate as conditions or actions and workflows. Now, as far as the workflow library, now these are the templated workflows in the library. Uh, we have a bunch here already. Um, just, just to mention a few, I showed you the drop-in production one. We also aspire to create workflows to control rates based on conditions in the OTAs or the CRS. Or we want to have the hotel to respond quickly to uh, reviews from booking.com. There are APIs there for that. Or uh, how about if, if, if 
if the weather weather changes, if there's a drop in temperature, it's freezing conditions, well, why don't we display winter rates in the booking engine? There could be an automated workflow for that. So uh, just a sampling of workflows that are, that are possible as templates for your use. Um, but that's Bridge. So Bridge is an automation platform that interconnects applications and data so that it can automate processes. And we're trying to make this easy for, for you, the hotelier, to make your own connections to be more productive with your own workflows. Um, that's it. Done? Yes. Finish. Amazing. Thank you. Sure. Right. So we got some question from Pablo. Yeah, thanks, Enzo. Um, quick question here. I mean, there's a lot of talk about the silos we mentioned before, revenue you were juggling around. So who do you see these using it more? I mean, it will be purely sales, sales and revenue getting together and then going to use the tool. How do you see that? That's a good question. Um, we see everyone part of it. So notifications can go across uh, can go across systems or applications. So maybe an application that the that the salespeople are using. Like like here, we use Salesforce. There can be an API to Salesforce. There's a lot of APIs to Salesforce. Those can trigger notifications, which which notify another department that something's happening. So we mean for Bridge to be a cross departmental tool for workflows and automation, not just the silos. Thanks. Who's next, Chris or Federica or Claire? What do you have? Chris, go ahead. <laughs> wow, I, I I am really impressed. This is a fantastic solution. Um, it it really looks like um, you can you can um, you solve some of the, the the actual problems that that we have, especially thinking about different departments interaction there and and so on. Um, I'm I'm wondering about the integration. You mentioned that uh, you you have, uh, and it was almost a side sentence that you have an integration with uh, Ticketmaster, if I understood that correctly. That's right. Uh -huh. um, so so how does that that part look like? Can you can you dive into that a little bit more? Sure. So, so Ticketmaster has an API. It's a publicly exposed API where you can query if there are large events in a certain city or a certain venue. I think it's specific to. Uh, yeah, an arena or concert venue. So we just uh, we have those parameters there, and then we just the workflow will just query that every so often, just to detect if any if there are any changes. So like when the calendar changes for the venue, the hotelier is notified. Then they can go into action to create rates or specials that are composed around that event. Right? Um, does that answer your question? Does that help? Yeah, it's it's. I'm just uh, my mind is racing. I'm looking for for. Oh, yeah. Uh, applications, how to, to uh, ideas out there. <laughs> use, use that. Um, yeah, I, I don't know uh, if, if you can speak to some, some other integrations, uh, fire up my mind a little more. So, so, I mean, these integrations depend upon publicly available APIs. So uh, we know Oracle has one that they, they published, again, this, this OHI. Um, Apaleo has one, too, that we're looking at pretty closely, um, as well as there's one for Google Analytics. Um, sports schedules, for example. Uh, we talk about weather, currency exchange. There's one for travel advisories. Uh, there's a whole bunch, a whole bunch of APIs out there. Um, uh, you know, just just uh, hotel reviews. You can react to those. About well. Booking.com, uh, TripAdvisor. So, uh, yeah, there's there's a whole gamut of stuff. I, I mean, in terms of integration specifically, um, this is kind of like the higher level integration. There are deeper integrations that we are very well aware of, like the PMSs, um, uh, payment gateways. Some of those get very complicated. And those fall outside of this uh, of bridge. But there is a layer which could produce very productive workflows uh, you know, just, just within what bridge can, can access. So that's what we're hoping for. Uh, for example, we have clients uh, who are large chains. And they have to make changes in the CRS uh, amongst hundreds of properties. Well, make the change, you know, set parameters, and let Bridge do those changes for you, right? Let Bridge monitor your rates for you, tell you when things are going to end or start, so that you don't forget to to, to extend that rate or open that restriction. So, uh, anyway, yeah, the cases are endless, and 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 this is a a big opportunity for us to kind of talk more closely to our hoteliers, you know, what do you need? What do you want? We're here to help you. 
Cool. Right. Thank you, Angelo. Your time is gone. And uh, right. now we can say hello and introduce the next uh, vendor tribe. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Angelo. Again. Ciao. Thank you, Angelo. Ciao.